we're actually seeing instances at the moment already where uh, suppliers are saying we're not material, the customers are reporting that back as they're now uh, mandated to do to the regulator saying this particular uh, supplier is saying they're not material. Um, and and uh, the regulator has come back and informed all parties that they would class them as material. Um, so I know that's a little anecdotal, and, and you know, a little bit further into it, I'd love to be able to share the names, but we can't. But I don't think it's, it, it's, it's not being ignored. I, I think the banks, you know, are understanding uh, and, and realising that this is the next big risk. If you look at them, the financial crash affected all of the financial institutions. And, and that, arguably, was under their control. You know, the technology structure, the infrastructure, its cloud services, maintenance, upgrade schedules, you know, they're not necessarily all under their control. So they have to have a plan. So, yeah, they could ignore it, but they're not. They're looking at it right now. They're hiring teams across the, across the country. You know, it's changing across the globe. It'll go out across the G20, uh, um, you know, in the next couple of years. Dora, the uh, European Union's all over it. Uh, and, and it will only take one service provider to fail, uh, and the ramifications of, of this will be uh, global, basically. Anything I think just to, to, <clears throat> just to add to that, Wayne. Yes. Sorry, very, oh, very briefly. Ahead. I think from 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 my experience here, um, ra uh, very little is probably the key word there, Richard. I think what, what I generally see uh, most often is that uh, finance institutions will do the bare minimum. Um, so they won't do nothing, but they will do the very bare min uh, will do the bare minimum. And what that means is that ultimately, it, it, there's an argument that is it is it even worth doing? It doesn't really offer them the protection, but it is just a box ticking exercise. Um, and we do see that 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 does come up. And obviously, at NCC, it's part of our role and, and remit responsibility to try and educate people around the, the value in in doing more. Um, but it, for those that do very little, what I certainly as a as a result of um, COVID nineteen. And what I do see quite frequently is that um, following audits, um, that the there's a, a demand to uplift the level of service and the level of protection that they have. We saw lots of contracts throughout COVID-19 being under review to make sure they've got the right protection, that the banks had the right protection. And even now till, um, to, till today, what I generally see is that following an audit, quite a large project and a an, piece of work tends to be undertaken to uplift all of the escrow agreements and the escrow protection that, that's in place um, at, uh, at, at a certain point in time. So it is possible for them to do little. I think, you know, some banks get away with it. Um, but ultimately, it, it, I guess it, it buys them a bit more time. It's not a, a finite solution would be would be my response to that.